we're finally in Puerto Rico. It only took a thousand hours, um, but honestly, I'm very grateful. La gente que me recibió en Miami fue un amor. I'm so, 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 so grateful for them. Forever indebted. I had such a good time in Miami, but I definitely am getting sick and I'm just ready to go take a quick little nap. Before we get the day started, I'm gonna do my best to record while I'm out here, but yeah, very blessed, very grateful that I'm finally here. So. We finally made it. First stop is always gonna be Casita Maria. So look at this rain. Literally the best mojitos ever. Yeah, this rain is cool. You know why I'm here. Y tenemos Andrea. Literally my favorite. So we're about to try calda. It's como un ron, right? Sí. Esta es mi bestie, Boricua. Me ha estado enseñando de todo lo Boricua por acá y ella dijo que también está de acuerdo que yo me mude para acá. brunch spot that I love been here before yeah they have brunch here and it's so good I'm wearing my Puerto Rico shirt today because I'm from Puerto Rico once again you know why I'm here let's take a second to talk about this food because it's so fucking good this is literally what I had last time I was here but it's so good I had to run it back and of course not sure what Guanabana is, but that's that. She recommended it, so we're doing it. Y de nuevo con mi Andreita hermosa. We're getting munchies. Yes. And we're gonna get some drinks too. Pero. Una tiendita. How cute. They remind me, I'm telling you, they remind me of the ones in Mexico. If you know, <laughs> you know. Oh my god. Can we just please talk about this view? There's one thing I love on this planet. It's um, the beach at night. So here we are. I just thought of it's literally 3 p.m. I'm still sick. Um, and I'm literally just so fucking tired. So not getting ready today and i'm also wearing like a long ass fucking skirt with because the mosquitoes eat me up real fucking good last night so i'm dying from these mosquito bites but yeah i'm about to go ahead up to the beach and to get some food um chill there today we're gonna go have uh like, like go to a ladies night tonight with the girls so yeah i'm just gonna chill today but i'm literally dying from these fucking mosquito bites it literally took me 10 years to get ready but we're finally ready covered up so the mosquitoes don't fucking eat me up i'm about to go get food um i'm craving pirilos pizza really really good pizza at tan san juan so i'm gonna go eat and then i'm meeting up with my friends because it's his birthday so yeah we're gonna have a good day but we're, we're off to a late start but that's okay because i feel like i needed it sure not sure what this place is but it looks cute How cute. Okay, well, I'm not coming in here, but. Can we please talk about how good this looks? And it's literally only $9, like BFFR. Y'all, I didn't even record, but this is the pizza. I already obviously ate some, but it's so good. So now I'm going to Tres Cuernos, which is literally one of my favorite bars here. This is literally like the cutest place ever. I think have, they have a couple of my dollars here. Ladies 
I'm finally back. I did not vlog at all yesterday because I went to the rainforest and I just knew that I wouldn't be able to have my camera because they did ask tell you like bring your phone and that's it. So I just left my camera behind, especially like I was literally in the water. Like I'm not gonna take this fucking $1,300 camera, you know? The way I'm literally fucking huffing and puffing right now, bitch. I went to the rainforest, I went, we went to the beach during the day for a little bit and then I came back, I went and hung out at Casita for a little bit and then I went to the beach and I was at the beach for a little while and then on my way home, um, as I was getting off my Uber, my key fell into like the cobblestone and it's like, it was already late, it's one of the busiest streets here and it's a one way so people like there's a bunch of ubers trying to pass by people trying to walk by so it's not like i could stop traffic and ask for my key or like look for it because i did spend a good time like looking for it and even people were like what are you looking for like what are you looking for and i was like oh my god like so overwhelmed and so finally i just told my airbnb person that like i lost my key and had to fucking pay an arm and a leg to get it replaced but whatever um, so I got home and I just had the worst anxiety and had, I couldn't really even sleep last night. Like I was shaking. I was just like, I had the worst anxiety, kept having dreams that I was losing stuff and just started going like down a rabbit hole. So I'm finally out of bed. I was literally in bed all day and I'm finally like feeling better. So, um, I'm about to go ahead to Factoria to get a couple drinks. I want an espresso martini. And then I'm supposed to be meeting up with Andrea and we're going to this place called Mexicali, like Mexican in Italy together. It looks really, really cute. I wasn't going to take my camera with me, but the place looks really cute. So um, I think I might bring it with me. I don't know. It just makes me so nervous having it. And like a lot of people don't like a camera up in their face. Like a lot of people don't like tourist asses. So for me to be obnoxious with a big ass camera and especially like if I want to be present and in the moment the camera kind of makes it hard so i don't know let me ask my friend andrea if i should bring my camera or not <laughs> Okay, bitches, let's go. We're gonna go eat a cute little dinner, okay? First meal in the seven days that I've been here, no, I'm just kidding. But we're gonna go have a cute little dinner um, to this place called Princesa. It's like a, it got recommended to me the first time I was here. Um, it's like a cuter little restaurant, like a cute little date night situation. Um, and it's right here in Old Town Juan, but it has 20 year old recipes. They, uh food that's local some shit like that i don't fucking know okay that's what i was told when i went there and it was cute when i went see last night i went at the beach till uh 10 a.m so i did not sleep so i went and bought <laughs> just a random ass towel at walgreens but let me show you the prep before i go out i have this battery which is a fully charged battery for my phone um the charger to the battery 
another charger for my phone like one i can plug in somewhere this charger that goes with the battery so it can be charged um with the battery but if they don't if the battery dies i have this charger um obviously my wallet everything else and my key that i had to pay all this money for since i lost it but like why wouldn't you give someone a little like who like i it was literally a fucking key like i couldn't even loop it in there so now it's attached to something and my daca <laughs> um obviously my cards but yeah yeah that's what i make sure i have before i go out we gotta have our keys wallet phone um 10,000 chargers por lo menos and um hope to god to be safe um while i go out literally all just little puestitos por acá i think it's called like calle princesa or some shit like that yeah literally street vendors everywhere <laughs> After hearing dos años, escuchando el song. Sí. Look and admire the street. We are back where I started out, which is Gatita Maria. My flight's gonna be at midnight, so I'm just gonna hang out here. Well, my flight's at 3 a.m.